My name is Katie Thompson. I'm from Eufaula, Oklahoma, and I'm majoring in physical science here at Eastern Oklahoma State College. I chose Eastern because I took concurrent classes at the McAllister branch and I loved it. The teachers were amazing, I made great friends there, and I had already had 20 hours coming into school, so it put me on a great start to get my associate's degree here. My grandfather, Dr. Larry Huff, actually went to Eastern Oklahoma State College and he always tells me to tell people when the big tornado hit. So it's a big deal for me to come here and just look at just one of the student organizations I've been involved in is the PASS Club. I'm the president of the PASS Club, and our teacher representative is actually Ms. Myers. Hi. I am also the secretary of the ESGA, and just so many things that I've done with these clubs has really helped me develop as a person. Just the nursing homes, and the caroling, and the Toys for Tots, just the leadership retreats, everything has really helped me develop as a person here at Eastern. Well, I just got accepted into the University of Oklahoma five days ago, really excited, and I plan to be a biochemistry and chemistry major there, and I eventually want to get into the OU School of Medicine and become a pediatrician. The Sapphire Ball Scholarship has really helped me because I have so many labs, and financially it is absolutely amazing that this scholarship helped me so much afford my tuition this semester. At this time, I would like to thank the donors for being here with us tonight. Thank you. My name is Shelby Fields. I'm from Buffalo Valley, Oklahoma, uh, which is about 20 minutes from here, and I'm majoring in nursing. I chose nursing really because I've always been inspired by nurses. My mom and my grandmother were nurses, and I just kind of watched, you know, what they did and how how they just really loved it. And I knew I wanted to go into the healthcare field, but I didn't know where. So I kind of got to the end of my education for a little bit and they said, well, you should try to be a CNA and kind of see if that helps you find out. So I quit school for about a year and became a CNA and I absolutely loved it. You know, every piece of it, even the hard parts. <laughs> it was just, it was really great to be a small part of a bigger picture and work with everybody and helping people get better or even in the tough times of their life, you know, just being there and being an encouragement and helping them through. That was just a really awesome feeling and really awesome to be there and watch that. Um, so I knew I wanted to become a nurse. I didn't know how yet, but uh, when I got accepted, I was really tickled and just this whole experience has been great. You know, just learning how to help people more and to how to be there for them more. It's just really awesome. And I also be, wanted to become a nurse, I guess, so I could wear a really cool stethoscope. <laughs> Receiving the Sapphire Scholarship has really been a big blessing. Um, going through nursing school, and even before I got into nursing school, they told me that it was going to be hard and that I would have to pretty much give up anything in my life <laughs> and to study. And that, for the most part, is very true. So when I first started school, it was really hard because I was working as a work study, but I was also trying to pick up other little jobs, which puts off my studying. To receive this scholarship is really a big deal because it helps, it helps stability. It helps me make sure that I'm not having to worry about, you know, how I'm gonna make those payments or anything like that, but it's helping me focus more on how I can help others and the profession that I'm wanting to go in and that I'm excited to go into. And I really can't thank y'all enough, and I just wanna take that time to thank every single one of you who donated towards this or, contribute to it. I mean, it helps hugely. Thank you so much.